Hello ladies and gentlemen, now I want to know who has slipped me a dud release of Ubuntu Mate version 18.10, which is codenamed Cosmic Cuttlefish. This has not been a good release for me. And besides the fact that not actually much has changed, and I'll come on to the reasoning as to why that is, but we actually seem to have regressed backwards, particularly here with the Mutiny desktop, for example on the functionality of the global menu and heads up display. There's going to be quite a few things I'll have to discuss, but let's start with closing this welcome screen. We'll start with a basic underlying system, which is Linux kernel 4.18, which brings improvements to USB 3.2, USB Type-C, offers support to the latest Intel CPUs, and has some power-saving improvements. It also comes with Mesa 18.2.2, and gives you the option of installing the NVIDIA 390 graphics drivers. We can see the memory at system boot up, it's about 560 here. Let's run it one more time. Yeah, it's about the same again. Slightly more than the Plasma desktop in KDE. Hmm, that's surprising considering Mate started out as a fork of the old GNOME Classic desktop, although what we have here has been uplifted to GTK version 3. So yeah, this is Mate version 1.20.3 for the desktop. So that's only two minor increments from the previous release in Ubuntu Mate 18.04. On the positive side, the Mutiny view which we have here in Ubuntu Mate offers a fairly similar view to the old Unity 7 desktop. It doesn't have quite the same behaviour as dragging the window down from the top of the screen, but we do at least have the split view, halves, quadrants, and we can throw it to the top. We have the global menu as well as a heads up display. The brisk menu with this panel layout again offers a similar view to the Unity desktop. You can scroll across between different categories at the top, and it's all very fast and responsive. So very nice, very nice. And if you don't like this view, which actually is not the default view, I'll make that clear, it's just a view I prefer. You can open up the Mate Tweak tool, choose Panel, and select from one of eight different styles. Okay, that's not supposed to happen, and has not happened to me thus far. Mate Tweak, come on, get me out of here, get me out of here. Cappuccino menu. There we go. Right, we're back in business. An Apple-like layout with a dock at the bottom of the screen. Let's try and go back to this contemporary one again. Oh look, it works now. So that's a brisk menu with a searcher in. The menu searcher is nice and responsive. Redmond will give you a view vaguely familiar to the Windows layout. Which version of Windows layout though? Or do we call that Windows 7 or Windows XP? I think Windows 7 is closer. You can use a text searcher in the menu, and you have the option of using a heads-up display, which you press the Alt key for that, it's the left-hand Alt key. I don't know why the graphics glitched though this time. I had to look at my footage of the Ubuntu Mate 1804 video, and the footage of using the HUD looks perfectly fine, but this time around it really does seem to sort of glitch on the application. And I've tried out all the other renderers as well, and to be honest there's no difference between them. I did have the scaling factor of high definition display set to auto detect initially. I was messing around with the high resolution at one point, although I only have a 1080p monitor. And you can easily switch the placement of the close, minimize, maximize button, undecorate, maximize windows to improve performance on gaming and videos. Let's go back to the mutiny layout. The heads up display for this cute application seems to be a bit hit and miss when it wants to work. But then again, the menu seems to be a bit hit and miss when it wants to work as well, because that is not the correct menu for Kate. And neither is that when I have Kate as a full screen. So what is going on here? Unless I faff around and click in the exact position which I can't seem to manage right now. Yeah, it's awfully fussy that is. It didn't seem to work for Snap applications, unless I've got the same problem where it's been fussy on where I click the menu. So pressing Alt here should bring up the heads-up display, and we've got nothing. Perhaps we can get an idea of where it's going wrong. Yeah, it's trying to show the heads-up display for the wrong application. Looking at where it's glitching on the terminal. Let's take a look at the release notes. Now it appears to be a bit different than any other Ubuntu derivative, in that they're actually planning to backport the improvements into the long-term support release of Ubuntu Mate 18.04, hopefully before the point two release date in February 2019. And the point two release will include the hardware enablement stack updates that will be a newer kernel. This release offers a specific image for the GPD Pocket. Uh, this appears to be a sort of very small Intel laptop built in Shenzhen, but is for sale in various other countries. It looks quite expensive, so I don't think I'll be uh, rushing out to buy one. 
but it's good that they've done tweaks already, so if you have one of those devices, you can get a better, well-integrated operating system. The Raspberry Pi images haven't been released just yet, but that tends to be one of their popular releases. They mentioned that you will get newer applications, although Firefox will be updated already due to the security updates, and you could get the latest versions of VLC and LibreOffice with Snap applications instead of the dev packages. I'm just saying for example, so you don't have to upgrade to Ubuntu Mate 18.10. Even if this release was to work perfectly, there isn't a huge amount of point to upgrade. I mean, yes, I'm sure they'll appreciate testers for this release, so that those users who want to stay on the long-term support release will get a nice, stable desktop environment. But to cover the last couple of features fairly quickly, there is this welcome screen, which is good for new users. To get a bit of instruction about the operating system, you can get easy links for places to find support. There's a link to the software store, which is a very lightweight store. It doesn't offer anywhere near a vast selection of applications, but it offers a core selection for a new user. And just scrolling down the list, you can see it's just a basic release. Although I saw mention of Codex there, didn't I? Yes, Codex Pack. Yeah, there's not a vast amount of apps in here, but that's fine. Just give new users a basic choice, but a good basic choice. There are links to other more feature-rich package managers. So that's the GNOME, or the Ubuntu Software Center, and Synaptic Package Manager. In terms of the pre-installed applications, well, it's a bit difficult to see on this one because I have installed a few things for part of testing, but there weren't really a huge amount of applications pre-installed on the distro. There was Firefox for web browser, Thunderbird for email, got the full suite of LibreOffice, there's a firewall configuration pre-installed, as well as quite a few utilities for the Mate desktop. Media player is VLC, music player is Rhythmbox, and that's about it really. I installed one Snap application, simple screen recorder. You can see the issue of the theming, but that is an Ubuntu issue, not a specific Ubuntu Mate issue. That was a look at Ubuntu Mate 18.10. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.